strength for the visit with the person of high strangeness. We're going to take you back to Europe today. And, uh, and as we speak, um, at the time of this taping, Mount St. Helens is rumbling, and so is Mount Rainier, actually. And so when, you, when we as a whole look at things like that, it kind of reminds us how much history some of the landscapes have and uh, the people that live there, how they build things and how they rebuild and rebuild and things like that. So before I take you to some of the real old places in Europe, I wanted to share something with you. Uh, it's been a while since I showed you anything um, that was really out of the ordinary for me. Now, we've discussed this before that uh, Every once in a while, there are artifacts or something that some kind of way find their way to my house. Um, and also, as we speak, I am transferring all the shows onto a DVD because uh, they won't get damaged as fast as a tape would. And because of that, I went to some of the real old shows back to 1998. Uh, and, and what I noticed that I used to share a lot of uh, things with you. Then, of course, the earthquake came and I lost a lot of them. So let me get to the point here. Some friends of mine were dr just driving around a neighborhood about, oh, I would say 150 miles north of here. And they saw a sign that said estate sale. So normally they don't stop at a place like that, but at that particular day they were moved to maybe make a U-turn and go back and go to, a, to an estate sale. And as they're browsing, they looked at different things and um, as artifacts and things have it, sometimes they talk to you. They call your name. So my lady friend uh, was walking around with her husband, and uh, she thought she heard my name called. So she thought that maybe for some bizarre reason I had ended up in the same place as they had, of course, that had not happened. Instead, there was a, a ball, a crystal, a, a quartz crystal that they ran into. And uh, of course, it called my name, so it was only obvious that it would have to come to my home. So I don't know how we're going to do this here, because in here eventually I'm going to show it to you. It's about six inches across, and it weighs between 10 and 12 pounds. And recorded crystals like that, of course, you can pull, um, you can pull history off of. And um, as it came to me, of course, I held it. But there, that's a wonderful shot. As I held it, um, it took me to Siberia, and it told me that it was harvested or dug out of the ground in Siberia. Didn't have a time or anything. I also know that at one time, during a raid or a riot or something, it was taken away from there. The gentleman that stole it, um, it told me, had gotten killed, and it was very descriptive as to how that happened. And then it came to the United States on a boat. So then, um, my friends went back to the lady that owned the crystal ball before me, and uh, she said that they had uh, written history on it, um, there it is, that they had written history on it back to the 1600s. And so she was going to dig that up for us and show us, uh, you know, what the history of it was. That might be the only time I'll ever bring it to the... Um, uh, to the studio because it doesn't really belong here. And uh, just to show you, if, if you meant to have something, it'll, it'll just show up at your house uh, just like this. That, and I'm just so proud to um, be able to share this beautiful um, uh, quartz crystal with you. That is just so clear. And we're going to thank the universe for being so nice to uh, have and shared that with us. We have a long ways to go today. Um, should I leave it? We can leave it there because I think the friends saw, had a good view of it. What do you think, Miss Vivian? They saw it really good. Okay, so that's all about the ball here. And again, I'll never show it to you again. <laughs> I'm going to sit on it. So we're going to go to the insert because Claudia, uh, which is going to be in the studio next week, she went all over Germany this time to some of the old places with history, monks with uh, that make beer for the last thousand years, and the name of the show is If Walls Could Talk. And as always, I need to uh, ever once in a while translate a word or two for her, but she is just doing so great that uh, I might not have to say a whole lot. 
So as soon as we get done, we'll get on the road with Claudia in detail and take you to castles and places and things. The opening shot was humble and uh, we'll run into that again and so I guess we'll just keep going here. Castles and monasteries and churches. Here we go. Oops, that's right. <laughs> the tower from Weichenfels on the castle. You see the tower again from the other side? It's a little bit windy here. <laughs> it's always windy. I'm standing now the front side from that castle. This is the wall from that castle. You see that little hole in that wall? Well, the man's standing behind it and they shoot out. It's a shoot hole. I don't know what that is in English. There is another one. Well, now you see the rock, and on the rock is built the tower. I hope I can get it because the sun comes here. Oh, it's getting dark. How is that for foundation? No. You see? See? There's a small wall, too. When you can look. Down, downtown now. Beautiful houses. They're called Fachwerkhäuser. Here is that tower again from the other side. That must be the door. Well, the other walls are destroyed in the 30s war. 30 year war? 30 year war, yeah. Here is that castle again, where the 30 year war was from 1618 till 1648. It's a long war. That's about I don't like war. That's about the time of this crystal ball I showed you I want today. I to zoom a window in. And to see how they look. Uh -huh. Oh, so windy. The nice come come from here. It's a little church. The noise, she meant the 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 bells. Now here comes my boyfriend Dieter. Yeah, he tried hiding 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 now. It's not so easy to walk over here. <laughs> so, and here comes the wall again. Oops. Uh-huh. See? It's very big. Uh -huh. Sounds like she's pleased. Oh, 
Again, I don't understand him. So, where is my boyfriend? Can't help you. Oh, he's there. Okay, I'm coming. <laughs> I'm sitting now on that bank. On a bench. It's a nice view from over here. Here's a flag. Tower again. <laughs> My girlfriend and we go in the park, in the castle. Well, let's see K right there. Now, Dida is the reporter. And on the downside is that shoot hole. Whoa. <laughs> the shoot hole, we don't know what that is in, in English. This must be the second floor. Yeah. Trees are growing now here. They run away the, a little bit here. Yeah. This is a window. <laughs> okay. From there we came. This thing is built new. They make um, music over there, open air and so stuff, yeah. That castle, it's renovated now and it's a guest house in it. A guest house would be bed and breakfast. A big rock over there, it's a tree. <laughs> and here comes the castle wall. It's still there. And there's a playground. Turn around one time. Look what I found here. Goats or so? Mountain goats. No, Steinbock, I don't know. Mountain goats. Is in English call? Mountain goats. Hehe, <laughs> cute. I'm sitting now on that castle wall. I want to show you how thick, thick, <laughs> wide. See, from here. To here, and how long it is. Very long, here. Yeah. I want to show you a little cap capella, chapel, yeah, I, chapel, I got it now. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Good I thing. zoom it in. Good thing she isn't scared of okay. heights. The belts are always my favorite. This is an old fireplace. Well, here, 100 years ago, they baked bread in it. We have very, very much from that on this area here. Can't help you with this one. Okay. 
You see that roof? Well, that um, holds about... Maybe 20, 25 years. Maybe 20, be, between 20, 25 years. Does it need any repairs? And now comes the other roof. That holds over 100, huh? 100 years. 100 years, yeah. That called Schiefer. It's very sharp and you can hurt roof. somebody with that. Some kind of rock, it's like a layered rock. So, and, and it's great. Yeah. Now we go to the next viewpoint around here, that castle. Here comes the sun. My sunshine. <laughs> My only sunshine. Now I'm standing on that viewpoint. You see now a theater. Theater. Amphitheater. Open air in uh, a theater. Theater, yeah. A few hundreds ago, they played on there. I love that wind. Ooh, it's windy here. A few steps. Another viewpoint. Downtown again. They said nice houses. Ooh, it's windy. We're flying away. Look how pretty. Okay, we go eat. And now we go eat again. Remember Klöse and Schweinebraten? Ah, cool. Time to find food. Well, I guess they went to look for some food. Um, now, isn't it amazing how some kind of way when they do the aerials, how they've managed to uh, take the old and the new and just live peacefully uh, side by side. And then you wonder the way our reality is going. If four or five hundred years from now people come to the United States, what are they going to find, we wonder. Anyway, we're not done yet. We've got to go eat. So we're going to go to the next clip. We've got a whole day ahead of us and uh, more history-making things here. And so as soon as we get ready to go, I guess we will. And um, we're going to have a good time. Don't need a crystal ball for that. I guess I should be talking. Enjoy. I found a nice picture. Mm -hmm. Wow, how pretty. It says Weichenfels, 1840. Ooh. The Kasten Weichenfels was built in the century 1122. Built now in. I must zoom it out. Built to in show you a few pictures. Built in 1122. Well, 1982 opens that guest house in here and they renovated. And before that time, it looks like that. Okay, see? Yeah, it was no. a little run down. Hello. No, oh, the roof. Well, just 20 years. Mm. <laughs> this is the inside from the guest house. Must taste very good, I think. Mm -hmm. Here comes the bar. Well, good taste beer. Beer. Or oh, bar. The beer is bar. Open. Mm -hmm. Kachel open. Big wall. 
Now I'm in the press floor on that castle and they have a lot of picture over here. I show you a few. Oh, cool. Everything is so rich in culture. That's a pretty one. This is modern art. Must be a spider. Spider are over here. Everywhere are spiders. <laughs> don't know if you like those modern art. I don't like it. We do. But I'm gonna show you that. <laughs> Look at that. That is funny. He have an umbrella. This is a church, I mean Basilica from Gösweinstein. But this is an extra film. Castle Tüchersfeld. I will go over there too, on another time. Those are fossils from Franconia, Switzerland. They found it here around this area. Area. This is Castle Aufsess. Those are old pictures. This is from a mill. That's pretty. Yeah. All in here is painted, must hand, hand painted. I will zoom, zoom it in. So, mm, cool. A few dolphins. Well, those pictures are oil painted. Oil you see now a very old book. It's from 1543 and it's a Catholic Catechismus. A Catholic Catechism. And it's handwritten. This is from the Bischof Korrespondenzen from the 1700. Well, that means um, they told you what you have to do or not. These were rules. So. Oops, I'm sorry, the window is in here, my camera. A book of rules. Oh, scheiße. Yeah, you can say that. This is public access. This looks very old. <laughs> Whoa. Huh. <laughs> this is an theologic book. A religious book. book. Is from 1532. Christliche Einheit. I think it's uh, a lecture. Like a Bible. A rule book, yeah. Instruction book. There you go. Oh, the window again. Okay, I zoom that same book in. It's out of shadow from that window. Yeah. There's a mm. lot of coat of armors on there. This is modern art again. I walk a little bit around here. Oh, it's a lion, a blue lion. And the horse. I want to show you something. Well, this is a statue, statue, and it costs 3,000 euro. 
That's a little over three thousand dollars American. Look like a woman. Hands up. It's like art. Yeah. It's modern art. She's definitely on a diet. Somebody likes the color blue. Yeah. Okay. A sunset and a few cactuses. What are we gonna eat now? Oh, food. Peter eats cordon bleu with salad, potato salad, and uh, pa paprika, uh, pepper, and eggs. Paprika, and cucumber, cucumbers. Carrots. Okay, now I show you now mine. I eat just a salad plate. Caesar salad. With toast. Mm. I think that will taste good. Toast, ham, potato salad, you know, tomatoes, pepper, cheese. Cool, huh? See you. That's <laughs> Italian. So we drive now down to the city. Look at that pretty house. No, oh, it's free. You can move in when you want. <laughs> it's vacant. Oh, the roof is on the street. <laughs> They have nice streets over here, huh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Very small. Very nice, Claudia. Makes you wonder how they get those cars in the driveway. Look at there. And I mean, there's a car park. Check it out. Yellow flowers. Oh. A few baskets? Yeah. Okay. See you in the next caster. Why is it? Oh no, I show you the houses now again. Yeah, look at that. Oops. Ooh. It's a guest house over here. Well, hey. <coughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> this is the Freiungshalle. Liberation and Hall. We are now in Weltenburg. And in Weltenburg is a, mon a monastery. Monastery? So we go over there to say this, the Freiungshalle. That's the Liberation Hall. So now I'm standing in front of a Roma Castell that's in a, Eining. That's a Roman. It's a Roman castle. And they are now ro ruins. Mm -hmm. So it looks like that, and it's snow on it. That's an that aerial a picture of the ruins. And it is from the second century. Yeah. I'm standing now in front on it, and it looks like that. Well, what I know is they have big bathrooms. Bath halls. And the ground is hidden, hidden it. Hiding it. I zoom it in now. It's 
so many different cultures present. must be a monument. The monument from the other side. This is a construction how it should be. So we are now where the red point is, the big one. And we go now to Kelheim, and there is a um, cloister, it means um, a monastery. Mon monastery, Weltenburg. Well, you see over there is Regensburg, and we are in, what's the name? Yes, Bayern, no? She's not, she's not Bavaria, Bavaria Germany. Bavarian, yeah. And, and that shows which way the Danube, the river and Danube. This is the monastery, flows. They live monks over there. They still live there. They make a good, they make a good beer. It's very dark, yeah, and tastes very good. And the river you see over there, that is stone now. The Danube. Okay, let's go over there. This is a river stone now. It's not many water in here right now. But on 1845, the water goes up and up to there. You see that? Over there. I'll show you again. Talking about a flash flood. The street. And there's the river. <laughs> so. The, the Danube is the one that they wrote the songs about. The Blue okay. Danube. There's a little ship, and the ship brings the people from here. It's a ferry. So here. See that boat hangs on that string over there? And here it is. Okay. Well, that is a monument, and that means um, in memory of three soldiers of the U.S. Army who lost their lives at this spot in the, what? Danube. Danube on September 16th, 1975. They met their deaths on active service for our freedom. And the three guys, their names are Dennis, Dennis Wellen and Robert S. Adams and Lucky Cardle. Nice to have a memorial like that. So it must be on that place, somewhere over there. Mm -hmm. On the river Donau in Weltenburg. So, we are eating now again, and this is an Hudson and Flöse. See? Cool, huh?
Huh? And this? The beer. Kloster Waldenburg's beer. That is a brewery. And they brew the beer since 1050. 1050. And the monks made the beer. Well, that is the front of that monk brewery. And it's the oldest brewery in the world. It's over 1,000 years old. Yeah, it's pretty amazing to have beer that long. So I don't know, um, maybe we do have three clips. Um, it's what happens when you bring things from the past to the present, because I could have sworn I only had two clips, but that's okay. Uh, and then, of course, she teases us with this food all the time. And, um, but she's coming next week, and then uh, I'm going to make her cook for the crew, I think. She knows how to do these things. Dieter came one year, and he said, I brought you something. And he had a suitcase full of clodel, those potato balls. I don't know how he got them here, but they were very, very good. So we have um, refreshed ourselves. Is that the end of it? Or no, that's not the end. We have another clip. So, mm -hmm. We got 18 more minutes, so uh, I guess we keep going here. But that food just looks so good. You just want to jump up and grab a fork. And she just likes teasing us with bells and food and odd things. She has an eye for seeing things that nobody else would find, like that memorial. I thought that was... Wonderful, her sharing that. And here we are, we've got to go again. Mm -hmm. That's another guest house. Inside from that castle here. The bells ring again. This is for Lauren. You are, on a, you are on a journey with the person of high strangeness. This is a nice store.
For mother understand all these things are handmade. You can see how they blend it carefully. Um, uh, church emblems with other things, like in most places around the world. Just the blending of time periods. Sunflowers are a sign of wisdom. These are candles. Those books are made from, from that candle stuff. These are candles. This is close to $500. This takes you to a boat terminal. A little souvenir shop. Don't know what he said. So the lady said, are we going for a walk or are we going to eat? What a decision. Those are the highs when the water go high, go up, yeah, from that river, don't The know. water level of the river Danube. 1845 is over here. 1999? That's fairly recent. 1965? 2002, 1994. Okay. And show you the river again. That's high. It's here. Go up like that. I wouldn't want to have to pay insurance for that castle. Look at the docks. This is a garden inside from Kloster Weltenburg. So you can sit there and make medi meditation. Make me uh, and meditate. You can sit in the garden and meditate. Yeah. 
Over there are the honeybees. Honeybees. It's oh. <laughs> just amazing how she finds these things. That's that monastery, I think. Ooh. It looks like the riverbed is all dried up. I don't know what kind of rock formations those are. Looks like granite, actually. Could be lava, I don't know. These are all the places she took us in pictures. <laughs> That's where they make the beer. There, crystal. Oh, we are going over there. The Freiungshalle of King Ludwig the First. Liberation Hall. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Well, that is the Hall of Liberation at Kalheim. And it says King Ludwig, the first of Bavaria had the Hall of Liberation built as a memorial in honor of the military struggles against Napoleon in 1813 till 1815 and German independence. Friedrich Gärtner began with the planning of the monument in 1842. After his death, Leo von Klenz changed the design, completing the building in 1863. It combines ideas from ancient architecture with a technical, innovative construction. The exterior of the central buildings is decorated with 18 colossal statues, which represent the Germanic tribes. Inside the colorful ceremonial hall, 45 meters high and dome vaulted are 34 marble goddesses of victory with hands linked to form a cycle. 
to symbolize the states of the German Federation, with, which was founded in 1815. The open gallery high up on the exterior affords a magnificent view of the Jenner and the Altmühl Valley. Valley. The historic signifies of the Michelsberg, where the whole preparation stands, is underlined by the remains of extensive forty. Applications, in particular the Kelton Wall, Kelting Rumbert, which can be seen near the Wiedersaar Central. Oh, <laughs> how funny. Okay. Du gehst hoch. Yep. So she selected a climb up. So, those are the big monuments. The goddesses of war. Here again, combining war monuments with angels and goddesses. Both unearthly creatures. These plaques show all the little townships and, and kingships that was involved in this. Kind of reminds me of the capital in Olympia. By the way, that's open again. Um, they fixed it after the earthquake, finally. Hi, looks like angels. <laughs> I'm now on the top, and that steps, there was 164. Yeah. 164 steps. That must be <laughs> That is the river Donau. I shouldn't complain about what I do. My job is easy compared to hers. If she f could find a stairway to heaven, she'd probably climb there too. It's on the floor. I can read that. It says something about, don't forget um, the things that happened here, but I couldn't read it that fast. And so here again, uh, 
we really had a good time because uh, we went to a lot of places. And like I said, when I complain all the things I have to do, she just climbs and gets in crevices. And, and she'll be here next week. We're going to ask her, uh, how, how can she tune her eyesight to see a beehive through a window? I mean, hundreds of feet up in the air. And we got to go. Oh, my. Um, we'll see you next week. And uh, again, I was glad to share my crystal ball with you. Next week, bye. Cool. That went fast. But well, we went to a lot of places today, didn't we? Yeah, we just went to a lot of places. Yeah. Look how clear this is. Can you believe it? Yeah. Yep.